guys, welcome back. Olivia here with Olivia's Romantic Home, and in today's video, I am so excited to share with you a fall haul for 2021. These are gonna be goodies that I found at Hobby Lobby, and yes, I know it's early, but you guys have to grab a couple of things to get started on some of your fall crafting and decorating, and some of the things I know will sell out, so I just went ahead and picked them up. Plus, they did have 50% off the floral stems that were like the bushes of stems. I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna share with you guys all of the goodies that I found and also say hello to Benji Bear, my little puppy dog. He's gonna be hanging out with us now. The most exciting thing I have is I'm gonna be giving away one of these Louis Vuitton dupe purses. Okay, you guys can grab these at Walmart. Just go to the Walmart search bar and type in checkered purse. And you guys are gonna find this. It's the Louis Vuitton never full dupe. It's not a real one, but it's a really nice dupe. In fact, I got this one last summer and it still looks really great. And let me tell you, I wore it all the time. And I'm giving away one of these on this YouTube video as well as one on Instagram. So go follow me over there and check out the details for how to win this purse. It's super easy. All you guys have to do is subscribe and comment, but you do have to listen for those secret questions to comment. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this fun and fabulous Hobby Lobby fall haul. Okay, the first item I have to share with you guys is this super adorable fall mug. Oh my goodness, this little girl is so cute. She has a little long hair, she has the fall hat, pumpkins, and her little cute checkered bag. I think this is so adorable. Now I share a good morning cup of coffee with you guys every morning on my Instagram story as well as one of my Dollar Tree prayer cards. So I try to grab a couple of mugs and change things up as I go through the season. Now, this was not half off yet, but I really think that this fall mug is gonna sell out because I tried to get it last year and it sold out. So I went ahead and got one of these and then one for my daughter. Whoops, here we go. So this one just has the girls playing in the leaves and they're just so super adorable. So there's this one and there's this one. Now I will tell you that these are dishwasher safe, but not microwave safe. I was a little bummed out when I realized that, but they're so adorable, I couldn't resist. So check out the fall mugs. This is down the main fall aisle. And if you're mug hunting, there's gonna be different spots that they're putting their mugs out. So definitely check for these cutie pies. Another fall mug that I could not resist was this super adorable little buffalo check plaid with the little green truck. And it's carrying like all of the little fall goodies. The leaves are blowing off of it, it has a white pump Pumpkin. They do have this in a dish set. So they have the plates and all of that kind of fun stuff. I'm not sure that I'm gonna go all in on fall dishes, although don't put it past me. I did not get this half off, so I will tell you guys, wait till the stuff goes 40% off, which it will, but to get ready for our fall crafting and decorating, I had to have a couple of new mugs. I used kind of the same ones over and over last year, so I thought this one was super cute, and then I couldn't resist, you guys. I think this one can even kind of go from like late summer into Christmas time, even though it's not Christmas, you know, it's got the sunflowers, but look, it's the little red truck, and again, they do have this one in and um, the plates and the dishes and all of that kind of fun stuff. I eyed this one last year and I just went ahead and splurged on it. You guys know I love my coffee mugs. And because I share a prayer card with you all every single morning on Instagram, I just know that it's fun to look at different mugs. I felt so boring recently with my 4th of July mugs. I've just been kind of using the same ones over and over. So we'll have some new little fall mugs to get us in the mood for crafting. And then one more I did pick up was this cute little Hey There pumpkin. Hopefully this one is dishwasher and microwave safe. Um, you guys might want to check. I do, did pick up the little girl mug and it was not microwave safe. So I'll probably have to, you know, heat my mug up with some hot water to kind of keep my coffee warm. Or I know I've seen these like little burner things that you can set your coffee on to kind of keep it warm. Do you guys do that? Have to constantly rewarm your coffee. Usually I suck down like the first cup of coffee, um, but then the second one just kind of will hang around and I try to keep it at two cups a day, that's all. Every once in a while, I'll go for a cup in the afternoon. But anyway, I thought this one was cute. It has a little buffalo check plaid around it. In fact, you know what? I'm even thinking we could DIY something like this with some Dollar Tree supplies. So I'm gonna get some of those oil-free um, Sharpies and we can make one of these like way less expensive than probably what I paid for. <laughs> okay, the next thing I picked up that I could not resist was this beautiful 
pumpkin sign. I don't usually do a lot of pumpkin signs. I do a lot of DIYs, um, but I just thought this one was really, really, really beautiful. And I don't ever know which ones are going to sell out, but my little store where I'm at is a brand new store and they literally sold out of all things Christmas last year. So I did just go ahead and pick this up. It wasn't super expensive and I just thought it was really elegant and um, all of that good stuff. So I do have one sign left over from last year that is a fall sign, but I just thought this one was really, really cute and I cannot wait to see what more signs they're gonna put out. But I do have like a lot of Dollar Tree, like little pumpkin signs and stuff left over from last year. So I thought that this would be really pretty and even imagine it maybe back up over there on that wall. Um, so anyway, so fun and fabulous and I just thought it was just so pretty and elegant. The next thing I went ahead and snagged were some of these fall bouquets. Now these are a really kind of a really nice little bouquet. It's already put together. And if you guys can see, I kind of decorated my mantle with a late summer, almost transitioning into an early fall decor back here. And I'll give you guys a close up in just a minute. We made this little apple basket right here using a Dollar Tree bucket. You guys have to go check out that video. It's two videos back. And then to my greenery that I already had, I just added some of these if you guys can see. So right now these are 50% off. So that makes it a lot more price friendly. I believe that makes it about six to $7. Um, but they've got some really nice flowers in it. Now, of course that's not Dollar Tree prices, but what I like to do with my displays is to take um, the Dollar Tree flowers and mix them in as fillers and then put a couple of more high-end bouquets in or floral picks and that way your arrangement just looks a little bit more fabulous and a little bit more high-end. Um, and so I grabbed a couple in these um, cream colored ones and then I did pick up some of these in the really beautiful vibrant fall color. Now my idea is to do a fall Christmas tree as well. I have some Christmas trees from last year, some smaller ones that I thought would be perfect for that. We are going to do Christmas in July. I kind of polled you guys on my last video and asked if you wanted to see Christmas in July. We're definitely gonna do Christmas in July as well as a fall Christmas tree. Oh my goodness. So these are gonna be perfect. Now look at your Hobby Lobby for when everything is 50% off. Right now these are 50% off um, and they may go back up, but then hopefully fall will go 40% off. So they're usually always running some kind of sale and sometimes I do have to be patient and wait for things to go on sale. Also check Michaels. I'm telling you guys, you're going to find some of these colors at your end of summer clearance. The other thing I went ahead and grabbed was a couple of these larger fall bundles. Now these are $25 full price, but they're 50% off now. So that is going to make it a lot more price friendly. What I do love about these is the fullness of the flowers. I love the coloring of them. And again, they are a little bit more pricey than Dollar Tree, but they're really, really large. They're really, really full. Um, I do like to go ahead and spend just a little bit at the beginning of the season and mix in my Dollar Tree goodies with this. It's just going to give everything a lot more of a high-end look. And I will show you guys kind of a close-up of how I did this floral back here, but it's basically just two of these stuck together in my little jar. And so I got some in this color and also in kind of that more um, just burnt orange fallish color. And it makes almost a no-brainer. I mean, you can pretty much take this and stick it anywhere and it's really going to look really, really nice so beautiful. I also may even take some of these apart and use them in wreaths. I'm going to be gifting a couple of friends of mine and some family members some fall wreaths and some fall decor. So these are really nice. Get them while they're half off. Another thing I did grab a couple more of are some of the sunflowers. I was noticing the other day that I had used all of my sunflowers already and this late summertime is the perfect time for sunflowers. And so I grabbed a couple of these and again these are all 50% off. And then I also just grabbed a couple of these nicer ones that are kind of, they're almost, they feel like dried grass. They look really realistic to me. And then I just grabbed a couple of these also in this orange color. So these are gonna be really beautiful. And again, this is kind of a no brainer arrangement. And because I am gonna be doing a fall Christmas tree with just loads and loads of florals, I just want it to feel like a beautiful fall explosion in here. 
<laughs> we are gonna decorate this house from head to toe fall. But I thought these were so pretty, you guys. And again, check them out while they're 50% off. Now, I usually do not buy a whole lot of dried grass, but I thought this was really a pretty good deal. It was half off, there's a lot of it. And so that made it about $7. So check out how much this is. And I just think these will be really pretty popped in to some of our florals. And um, so if you guys can kind of imagine this, you know, think about just popping a couple pieces of grass into some of your florals. You can even use them. I feel like you can even use them, you know, in the center of some of your sunflower bouquets. Um, I will probably hold off on some of the dried grass until it gets a little bit closer to time. But then if you like kind of like a more relaxed look and less florally, you guys could always do an arrangement with just some dried grasses. And I did share with you guys how to use Dollar Tree supplies to do that. I also grabbed this one. So I have this one, this one, and the other one I went ahead and tried out was this beautiful kind of feather. It's just really, really pretty, really, really soft, not super expensive, um, but a little bit more, um, except for, oh gosh, it's just gonna be so pretty. So. This is gonna kind of give some of my florals a little bit more of a high-end look. Um, and again, mixing in some of those Dollar Tree goodies with some of your more high-end florals is just such a great way to go. So you guys can see kind of right back over here, I have you know my Dollar Tree apple basket, some thrift store books, and then a Hobby Lobby garland with just a couple of those picks put in there. And then that little candle that I DIY'd, and I'm gonna grab that lantern and show you guys close up because it's also from Hobby Lobby and it's really beautiful. Okay, so I've always wanted Okay, so I've always wanted one of these larger lanterns and check this out. This is also from Hobby Lobby and I love this because the little door opens. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this and share with you guys at the same time, but the little door opens and it's glass and so you guys can see right into it. I just have one of these flickering flameless candles in here and then I DIY'd that candle um, to kind of look a little bit fallish and I showed that with you guys in my last video and then I just have it on one of those Dollar Tree candle bases and I love to put like florals and bows on the top of my lantern. So check out their lanterns and snag them while they're half off. And then the last thing I grabbed from Hobby Lobby was this absolutely gorgeous garland. I shared this with you guys in the shop with me, but I think this is gonna be absolutely amazing. Now it has these kind of plum colored pumpkins on it. It has like the little beautiful berries, the raffia, and then the leaves mixed in. I am going to mix this in with probably my mantle in here and then maybe my mantle out in my studio space but then we're going to use Dollar Tree supplies and some other inexpensive goodies to really jazz this up and I think I'm even going to dupe one of these because these are a little bit pricier but again everything's going to be going 40% off and this is a really nice good size as well. So I was just super worried that this was gonna sell out at my store just because everything last year for Christmas sold out and I didn't even realize, but look you guys, this completely almost matches my shirt. <laughs> That's so awesome. I'm gonna have to do like a DIY and then be like photo shooting with my shirt, this shirt. Anyway, I got this shirt at the thrift store by the way too. You guys know I love to get my clothes at the thrift store. Like I'll spend money on home decor all day long and then just buy all my clothes at the thrift store. Okay, you guys, so, I promised to share with you all how I used a couple of those little floral stems. So here is what I did. I just took two of those Hobby Lobby stems and put them together, popped them into this um, little ginger jar or vase, and boom, I have like an instant arrangement here. And so super easy. And then I found these little pillows off of Facebook Marketplace. And then this basket is from Dollar General. And then this cute little um, stool is from the thrift store. And then all of my books are all thrift store books. So um, anyway, a lot of times I'll just buy books that I like kind of the jackets on. Some of the books I actually read. And then here is that lantern. So this is the lantern from Hobby Lobby. These little candles are from Amazon and they're flickering flameless candles. I just used some burlap ribbon and tied some Dollar Tree raffia around it. And then these are the little candlesticks from Dollar Tree. Now I had this little um, black and white buffalo check plaid um, garland left over from summer. 
Here is that little bundle I shared with you guys from Hobby Lobby, and I'm just gonna take it and pop it in to this kind of little mantle display and just kind of push it in there. And then, so we have this little cute little mantle display and I probably need to wire that in. Hopefully that's not gonna flop off, it probably will. But then I just took this little Dollar Tree apple basket that I had created. And so this is from one of those um, farmer's market calendars that Dollar Tree put out. I Mod Podged it to the side of this bucket. And you guys, this is just one of those like little Dollar Tree plastic buckets. So I painted it black and I used a layer of Mod Podge first before I even did the paint job. And that seems to be getting this to be able to stick better. Now I have just some books inside of here. I think I wanna get like some faux apples to put in there. And then these are just thrift store books and I just took and I turned them backwards so it wasn't distracting and it looked a little bit more vintage up here on my mantle. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to share with you guys too, they have these trees on sale at Hobby Lobby. So these are also 50% uh, off, I believe. And so those are about $40, but I just put one in the corner there because I just thought it would be pretty at night. And without going, you know, over the top holidays, I thought that, that would be really nice. And then on my TV, I just have a screensaver. You can look up fine art screensaver and that's going to give you some pretty music and some kind of fine art and so this is just how i have all of this style for right now so this is not you know full on fall but it is going to give you guys an idea on how you may want to start thinking about transitioning some of your colors in and then there's bendy bear he is still clonked out ah uh, he's my little helper another thing i have to share with you guys over here too is this candle from Bath and Body it smells so good. If you love strawberry, it's the strawberry pound cake candle and it is so yummy. Okay, and then so I still have though, you know, my house decorated for the 4th of July as far as just, um, I have these little Dollar Tree napkins. I found this at the thrift store. This is thrift store. And then this is one of those sunflower floral arrangements that I shared with you guys a couple of videos back. And so I just have that with a little blue garage sale dishes. And then I also did at the thrift store, I found this new table and chair set, which I think is really cute. Um, I think it's gonna be really pretty for fall and Christmas. I got a really great deal on it. Um, my old set was literally falling apart and I did love my old set. Sorry, my table isn't clean, super clean, but um, these chairs are padded, which I really wanted, and um, they it might be like a little bit dated, but I don't know. I just think it looks really cozy in here, and um, because fall and Christmas is coming up, I thought, why not? So anyway, there's that, and then this pretty little tray I won at a charity auction. Somebody handmade that. And I also want to share with you guys a quick little patio update and how I used my other sunflower floral out here on my little patio and then I also found this cute little rug at Tuesday morning it's been raining so it needs to dry out still but I got that and then this little sectional I found a really good deal on totally furniture and then my mom gave me these uh, petunias and then there's my little Dollar Tree sign and we have been working on a fence back here there's our little above ground pool. And I had these um, spiral trees. They're from Hobby Lobby, but I had them in my living room and I switched them out. And then here's that little Dollar Tree floral we did. And this is one of those Dollar Tree bowls that I just created like a fake um, kind of terracotta pot look. So here's our little patio update. It's not quite finished yet but you guys can see there's still kind of con some construction over there. But this is just like a little Walmart greenery thing and then a little Walmart umbrella. And then this is kind of what I call like our pool deck. <laughs> um, but anyway, a big project we've been working on for a long time, but I thought I would just give you guys an update. And then we have like some little kind of party lights. Benji Bear really wants to go out there. You wanna go out there and see what's going on? Yeah, so here's an update on our little patio. He still has to trim off the little top parts on the fence there. 
and I need to probably clean the glass on my coffee table. I got this coffee table also at the thrift store. I thought it would look pretty with this set instead of just doing, you know, something like this. So I'm using that all for, you know, pool part storage and grill stuff. And then I'm using this little coffee table. I just thought it looked really pretty and really classy. So there's that. And then you guys saw me do like a makeover on my back door where I just painted it this gray color. Um, let me show you guys. This is the same color that I used on my interior and I kind of wouldn't mind painting my house white and gray or something. I'm not sure, but anyway. So, all right, well, I hope you guys loved it. Okay, you guys, so that is going to be it for this fall Hobby Lobby haul. I didn't have a whole lot to share, but I thought that I would go ahead and share the couple of goodies that I grabbed in case you guys are gonna be crafting and decorating along with me. Now listen, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and punch that bell. It will update you every time I post a new video. And don't forget to comment down below the answer to my secret question and give yourself a chance to win this cute little checkered bag. It's again that Louis Vuitton dupe. It's not a Louis Vuitton, but it looks awful darn close. And these are really great bags. I have this one in the white and then also the brown. Um, and they wear really, really well. Now I'm pretty hard on my wallets and I do carry the wallet like all year long. So the wallet kind of um, went out on me, but this bag will um, come with this little zippered clutch in here. And then I will show you guys too. I got one of like the little port purse organizers. You can see that I still need to clean this bag out. It has like one of my masks left over and whatnot. But this is a really great bag. And so listen, okay, so the secret question is, I'm so excited for this. I cannot wait to give this bag away. First off, I'm gonna give this bag away July 10th. Okay, so check my social media pages for when I give this bag away. But the secret question for this video is, do you guys want to see me do a fall Christmas tree? And do you all decorate a fall Christmas tree? I know so many people who have left their Christmas trees up year round and decorating for pretty much every single season. So whether it be 4th of July, Easter, Christmas, fall, whatever. Um, I am gonna be doing a Christmas in July. And so I will bring out some of my smaller trees. I don't think I'm gonna go all the way in with my huge tree that I, did last year for fall that would just take up a lot of the living room and I don't even know if I have enough fall decor to um, do that large of a tree but maybe you just never know what I'm gonna do so you guys comment down below and let me know do you want to see me do a fall Christmas tree decorating it um, and do you all do a fall Christmas tree I would love to hear what you guys have to say about that and Thank you guys for voting on whether or not I should do Christmas in July. So we are going to do Christmas in July um, on my YouTube channel and also on Facebook. And hey, if you guys have not joined over on Facebook, I have a free group page where you guys can post photos of your home decor and DIY projects over there. And I love to see what everybody's up to. Everybody does so many different um, crafts and things like that. And so it's just so inspiring. And I know it's such a fine little lovely community. Everybody is kind to one another. And I just want to thank you guys for that because I think we all need a place to kind of relax and recharge and just take our mind off of whatever we, whatever we have going on in our day-to-day -day life. And if you guys love to craft and decorate like me, it's fun to pop on a group page that's positive and uplifting and just share like ideas of crafting and decorating. I feel like no matter where you're at, um, you can make your space a lovely place, a peaceful place to come home to. And that just helps your mood. It helps you do just a little bit better. And I feel like you can do it on any budget. I have always worked with a very, very small budget. Um, and as my budget increases, I honestly still shop at the thrift stores and I still just love finding trash to treasure projects. Um, and then sharing with you guys how to mix in some budget friendly goodies with a little bit more high end goodies as well. So I love y'all. I am so excited for this upcoming season. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much for being here. It is a true blessing and an honor. I know I had shared with you guys that I had been going through some things and I just want to thank you guys for all of the love and support. I feel like everybody at some point in time is going through something. And so just be kind to one another. We all have a voice and we can all use our voice for good. Even if you're just dropping kind comments in a video that you see or maybe a cute little Facebook post that you see. And if you see something you don't care for, just keep going, you know, 
we don't have to um, comment negative or rude things. So that's just something that I want to share with you guys as this community, as the Olivia's Romantic Home group and family and friends. Just remember to use your voice for something really positive and really good. And um, if you're having a rough day, what I've been doing recently is I've been taking Benji Bear for a walk. We go for a morning walk and an evening walk and that helps me so much with anything that I'm stressed out about. It gives me a chance to pray. And if you all have Spotify and headphones, you can create a praise and worship list on Spotify. So um, anyway, so I love y'all to the moon and back. I am wishing you a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed weekend with your family and friends. Everybody be safe out there. I can't wait for our next video. I have so many different ideas for you. So until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. And we'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.